Hello, everyone. Today, we will be discussing how world travel improved my understanding of medical history. And I am Jasmine Olson Holter. First, I would like to start off with why it is important for students to study abroad. According to the research article on the cognitive benefits of cultural experience, studying abroad leads to several positive effective gains. These gains can include promoting cultural and personal development, cross-cultural communication skills, and improving self-confidence. You can also use study abroad courses to really connect your course education to real life experiences, as well as promoting professional development in your personal and career goals by having these worldwide experiences. So on my study abroad trip, where did I go? I went everywhere in Italy. The purpose of the trip that I went on was the History of Human Anatomy tour. We visited several sites of historic art, science, and culture. Each day we had to read an article or a journal about the specific site we were going to or the person the site was about, and we had to report how physicians, philosophers, and artists learned, displayed, and taught human anatomy. We needed to form the connections between historical medical practices to modern medical practices that we know of today. We visited countless sites and journaled everything. This experience really improved my medical history knowledge as well as just my medical knowledge in general. I learned how medicine went from being about magic to becoming more of a science. Um, this photo here was taken at the University of Padua, which I did visit. This is an anatomical theater where anatomical dissections were performed. In the center oval is where the body of the deceased person would be, and the professor would be standing here on this wooden platform performing the dissection and educating the students. The students would stand around in these circles and take notes and draw everything that they saw. In order to teach this to incoming students, there would be wax models, paintings, drawings, and even sculptures made to really illustrate human anatomy. One interesting thing that I learned was that famous artists like Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo, who created the Statue of David, and Raffaello studied human anatomy to really perfect their works of art. Of course, this is a benefit to us because we now have the glorious statue of David that Michelangelo carved, who is still very famous today, as well as other important works by da Vinci and Raffaello. So how did this study abroad connect to my coursework? Well, there are several ways. I am currently taking a human anatomy course, and it has really helped me to see the history behind human anatomy was discovered and laid out for future students to learn off of. I also learned a lot about medical terminology from my time in Italy. It was very interesting to see how things were named and how Latin was incorporated. Another interesting thing was that when I was in Padua, we visited the tomb, the former tomb of Gabriel Fallopio, who is the man that discovered the fallopian tubes in the reproductive cycle. I also can apply this knowledge to my pathophysiology courses uh, by connecting how human anatomy really showed them where diseases originate from and how you might possibly treat them. So what am I going to do next as a global learner? I'm excited to announce that I will be going on the Historical Contributions to Medicine Tour in Austria and Germany, where, like the Italy Tour, I will be visiting many historic medical sites and really learning about more medical history. I'm going to continue to be a global learner and really reflect on my experiences and how these experiences can really improve my knowledge of medical history. I have been applying this knowledge that I've been collecting every day of my life and really improving my understanding of how these sciences were taught previously as to how they're taught now and what has changed and what has remained the same. 
I find it very important to learn about the history so we can learn about where we came from and where we're going, especially in medicine. Thank you for your time. If you would like to learn more about the benefits of studying abroad, you can visit IESabroad.org. If you would like to sign up for a study abroad course through UCF, you can visit studyabroad.ucf.edu. I would like to thank UCF and Dr. Emily Bradshaw for allowing me to go on the History of Human Anatomy tour in Italy. And I would also like to thank uh, once again, UCF and Dr. Chiarelli and Dr. Hawthorne for accepting me into the Historical Contributions of Medicine Tour in Germany and Austria. Thank you.